Hi everyone! This video will be a bit different from what you're used to, especially because I need to show you a product that doesn't fit on my other table, and that is the car cooler. This will be the subject of today's show. Stay with me! Summer is here, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping and it's incredibly hot. Because of this, I had to get this cooler because lately, over the last six months, uh, we've pretty much gotten into the habit of going abroad to shop. It's a bit easier for us because we are on the western border uh, and relatively close to places like Landava. You can get really good quality food for a lot cheaper compared to domestic prices. They since we're not enemies of our money, we go out shopping, even if we don't save much sometimes. It really makes a difference whether I eat low-quality Parisian or something from a deli, or say, good quality mortadella for the same price. As long as it was winter, there was no problem with it, because it was cold, and if I put the stuff, <laughs> the food in the trunk, so it didn't melt or heat up until I got home. <laughs> but during one of our last shopping trips, it was specifically hot, and I was already afraid that that the food might spoil a bit by the time we get home. Hey, I started to think again that I should get a cooler. <laughs> One reason was that uh, I wanted a small refrigerator in the office where I could keep mineral water, cola and some other things cool. I didn't want to spend the money. We needed a cooler and this actually solved my problem since this cooler can be used with 220 volts. You can use it with alternating current, 12 volts and 24 volts. This means that it can be used in both trucks and cars. They provide a cable for it. This looks like a cigar lighter cable and the other side that goes into the cooler. So it's not a very complicated thing. What's important for me about this fridge is that it's not about a cheap Peltier device, but a compressor solution. Then. Compressor essentially means that it's basically a refrigerator, a refrigerator just like the one you have at home in your kitchen. It, more, it has a compressor, it has an evaporator, there is a condenser inside where it dissipates heat, gas circulates inside. So this is a perfectly decent normal refrigerator, just available in 12 volt or 24 volt car versions. What else do you need to know about it? Well, um, it's very important that it consumes 45 watts when turned on, which is not too much. And since this is a refrigerator and it doesn't always need to freeze, it doesn't run constantly. It can work with a simple from an external power supply and battery pack as well. But normally, via the car battery through the cigarette lighter, doesn't it have Bluetooth? There's a touchscreen display with touch sensitive buttons here at the top on this page. This is where we handle the collection. Cover all functions turn on adjust, it can cool between minus 20 and plus 20 degrees. But what is really important, you see there's a divider in this fridge and with the dividing wall inserted, this, uh, this side of the refrigerator functions as a freezer while this side functions as a regular fridge. I tried this out in practice, it means if I set this side to minus 10 degrees, so this side is about 4 to 5 degrees Celsius. So it works like a completely normal space <laughs> and that as a deep freezer. Another important piece of data is that it has three types of battery saving modes. This is needed because if uh, we are fixing the car and leave the cooler on, uh, it will sometimes turn on and drain power from the battery. The battery measurement is necessary to prevent it from draining completely. The electricity comes from the battery so that it can still be started. What is also important is that um, we have two types of cooling methods. One of the cooling methods is fast cooling. Essentially, this means that if it is connected, then the compressor will keep running and cool down the inserted items pretty quickly with high efficiency. Foods. This is needed, right? When you load the fridge with fresh new food and want to cool it quickly, the other mode is the normal mode. So it works just like a regular refrigerator, no further explanation needed. Another important thing, according to the manufacturer, of course, depending on the external temperature. If we don't keep opening it, it can maintain the internal temperature for about one to three hours. Uh, well, she's, since this needs to be a test as well, actually, 
I can test only one thing with this. I'll show you how much stuff fits into it. I told you this is a 55 liter RIT and you can see it here in the video. What's more impressive is if I show what fits inside. So now I'll open it up and unpack. Don't be surprised. There will be a, a Tron Smart Speaker, which I only included because I couldn't think of anything else to put in, just to fill up the space. All right, let's see. Let's start with this. Uh, well, uh, uh. obviously this doesn't need to be cooled, but it was good for storage. We have a juice, a, a bottle of mineral water, a bottle of cola, a, a bottle of mineral water. Everything falls over in it. There is a box of ice cream and there is also a box of cream and there is a, a bit of frozen chicken. Let's move on. Some more frozen chicken. This was the, the freezer section now and it wasn't filled up even like this. So I think at least this could have fit next to the speaker too. Want maybe two bags of meat like this. So this wasn't put away, but now comes the normal part. I put the beers here, uh, not much, just a little, but you'll see soon I'll start unpacking. Oh, there, there are still some milk cartons. Uh, a little bit of milk. I brought everything up from the basement fridge. You can see the capacity of this device. Uh, uh, I don't even know where to put it. Um, the, so one more and another one and another one. Well, this way is, uh, that's about it. I don't think this needs much more explanation. After all, 55 liters is not a small capacity. And since we are talking about a cooler box, no, to, not a regular refrigerator. So you can fully utilize it. And I also fully utilize it because by smartly stacking the items on top of each other, it can be filled up to the brim. And so we have about a month's worth of cold cuts and frozen chicken. And even a few dogs can fit in here and we can solve this with, with one shopping trip. Oh, I'll put the frozen stuff back while talking because they break down so it's not certain that you would use such a cooler for the same purpose as I do because uh, it's quite likely that you are into arving. It's quite likely that you enjoy fishing and want to bring a cold beer with you. Lots of other things could happen too. So the main point is this cooler is extremely practical, extremely efficient and can fit a lot. Uh, so if you need a car jack, then he's your guy. No? I can wholeheartedly recommend it to you because uh, it covers everything an automotive cooler should have. Well, I'm not going to unpack it meter by meter. What I haven't mentioned yet is the price of that box. The larger one is currently shipped from stock with the coupon free shipping for 80,000 forints. The smaller 35 liter one costs uh, 60,000 forints with a coupon and free shipping from the same warehouse. You decide if that's a lot or a little. <laughs> Obviously, which it will pay back some of its cost. So it's not just a hobby tool. Compared to the Italian prices, this is not too high of a price as usual. <laughs> no problems with the quality and performance. There's no problem. There's no problem with the capabilities. There's really no problem at all. That's it. I can't say more about this freezer chest. So, all right, that's the end of today's video. Uh, I'll be back soon with something new this week with another vacuum cleaner. Until then, be good and bye.